Hi, Dave Akins here with Savvy Optics. And uh, we uh, just got some of these new uh, products in, and I think this is really kind of great. If you look at this, this is um, a new paddle made by Rochester uh, Precision Optics. And it looks a lot like the old Kodak paddle, and that's not an accident. Um, it actually exactly matches the form factor of the old Kodak paddle. Um, uh, if you remember, these were pretty pretty prevalent about 10, 15 years ago, but really um, they haven't been made for quite a while. And the, just like the Kodak paddle, the Rochester Photonics um, paddle has a 160, 120, 80, 60, 40, 20, and 10 scratch, and then has digs that go 5, 10, 20, 40, 50, 70, and 100. So very similar to the old Kodak paddles. Uh, the Kodak paddles are actually really good for their time, um, but this is a significant improvement over the, over the Kodak paddles, and I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, these are the digs down here, and um, now notice we machine off the, the little lollipop stick because we find it gets in the way of doing inspection. Um, but the, um, the digs here, we've measured them on the Savvy Inspector, and they're actually very good. They're, they're accurate to within about 10 microns, which is fantastic, much better than the old Kodak paddle ones. Um, in addition, the scratches are significantly better. The 160, 120, 80, 60, 40, these are really beautiful scratches. They're just right. Uh, and the number 10 is just right. Uh, the number 20 is a little bit on the bright side, so you have to use some guidance or judgment when you're looking at um, uh, scratches that are between the number 10 and the number 40 to decide whether or not a scratch is a 20 or a 40. That's the, that's the one tricky bit. But, you know, compared to the old Kodak paddle, it's vastly better. On the Kodak paddle, the larger scratches were fine, the, the 10 was very varied quite a bit along its length, the 20 was actually too dim, and the 40 was too bright. So anything south of like number 60 on the old Kodak paddle wasn't that great to begin with. Uh, so the Rochester Photonics paddle is vastly better, and, and it's available, you can buy it today. I think that's really the important bit. Um, um, we do machine off the, um, the uh, lollipop stick that just allows you to do uh, dig inspection side by side and reflection. It also gives you a better chance of doing the transmitted light method two or the transmitted light method one um, with the uh, with the RPO paddle. So, uh, if you want to get some of these, you can uh, reach out to us through the um, through the website. Uh, you just use the contact us page or shoot me an email. I'm pretty easy to get in hold of. Okay. Anyway, just wanted to show that to everybody. Thanks for listening. Bye.